I'm going to show you how to navigate the Scholars Portal database and search for articles. Now there are quite a few articles here, over 34 million at the time that I'm recording this and over 14,000 journals. So we certainly need to narrow our search and the way we would do that is use keywords. And you can play with these, you can add more or less and see what you come up with and you may have to refine or you may have to look at a few articles to see what the keywords are that you want to use. Now uh, it's important here to decide where you're going to search and I decide and I'm recommending don't search anywhere in the article either search in the title the keywords of the abstract okay those are the the three that I, I play with I think maybe I'm going to search uh, abstract here because I'm not quite sure of whether both those terms would appear in the title. So I'm going to click abstract. Um, the other thing you can search for is author, although I doubt there's an author named Synchronous Learning, but you may be looking for specific authors uh, or journals titles if you want to do that. So let's search for abstract. Now I can search for all dates or I can actually specify if I want from 2008 to present. And I'm going to do that just to narrow it down a little bit because this is a relatively new topic. So I'm going to search here. And I've come up with 316 results. There's still quite a few articles to go through, but I can refine here by looking down here and seeing what I want to look at. And there's a number of areas. I'm not looking for synchronous motor drive, so I can certainly rule that out. Uh, but there's other areas that I am interested in. There's computers and education here and that's a good journal so I could actually search by journals. Those are very good journals. Uh, I could also narrow it down by research article. Uh, it's not much of a narrow. This is There's 299 research articles and that means peer-reviewed articles so I'm looking for those. Those are the ones I'm looking for and there's 316 so I guess I can click on that just to narrow it down. And so here are my articles. So let's take a look at this first one. Design exemplars for synchronous e-learning. And I can read the abstract if I'd like. And here's the full text. And I'm going to actually click on that. And I think this would be a pretty good article, actually. I like the, and I can read the abstract a little bit more to make sure that it's one that I want. And if it is, I'll show you how I save it. It's kind of a a uh, good way just to remember. I know this article is 2010 and that's the author's name there. So what I'm going to do is highlight the author's name. I'm going to press Control C here or right click. I guess copy could work. And then I'm going to do right click save as. So I'm going to save that article and they're just going to do that name there. Underscore 2010. Okay and that's I'm going to save that article and I'm going to pick a place that I want to put it in. I, I'm just going to just put it here for now. And that's an article that I want specifically for my search. And that's a great way to save it because you have the year and the name of the author. So let's do that. Save. And that's done. When I'm finished with our, this article, I can click again and I can search for another one. The use of online synchronous discussion for web-based professional development for teachers. That might be interesting. And if I think it's interesting right away, I could just right click here, save link as. And I saw the name was Chen, but I didn't see the actual year. I snuck back and looked. It's 2009. So that's good. I'm going to save that done. And so that's how I go through and save my articles and it takes a while to go through and you pick and choose the articles you want. If you have a lot you can be a little bit pickier. There's primary articles that you know that you really want to read all the way through and then there may be secondary articles that are tangentially related to your topic but you want to save anyway and you could save those in two separate folders. All right, so that's how I recommend searching for articles in Scholar's Portal.